Yo, what is good, John? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger for you guys. As you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail, we got another update. And this is a good one, man. It's it, it's coming. It, the time the time is, is, is slowly decreasing. We are about to get another car for the channel, man. We're one step closer. So let's go ahead, roll that intro, and get straight into this video. y'all so right now i'm in the garage you know what i'm saying jihq currently we have bumblebee parked in the garage you know what i'm saying the missus's car the only car in the ji fleet as of right now 2017 nissan rogue uh all-wheel drive mook you know what i'm saying with the panoramic sunroof heated seats all of that you know what i'm saying not crazy cameras, 360 cameras and whatnot. You feel me? But you know, it's just a, just a solid daily. That's all. But anyway, you know what I'm saying. So today we are in the garage, man. Um, I want to go ahead and let you know what's going on. I told y'all I'd keep y'all in the loop, and I was not capping. So we finally got an update. Um, we finally got a quote on the car. Like I said, I already knew, bro. <laughs> The insurance was not finna end up covering the entire car and I was gonna have to use Gap. So they went ahead and they appraised the car, you know what I'm saying, with all the damages and everything like that, whoop de whoop, and they came to the conclusion that yes, it's a total loss, they're not gonna be able to fix it, whoop de whoop, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? We already knew that, we knew that was coming, so bing bong, you feel me? This whole time we've been waiting for them to tell us how much, you know what I'm saying, they're going to give me for the car. That way I can either A, call and cancel Gap, or B, call and tell Gap, hey, you know what I'm saying, I need y'all to go ahead and cover the rest of this car, whoop de whoop and then we can go look to get in a new car. So, with that being said, we finally, you know what I'm saying, got the number, and it is 26K. 26,000 flat. For the Stang Reaper R.I.P. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Um, I'm gonna keep it a stack with y'all. It was a base model Mustang. I wasn't expecting too much. Like I, I wasn't expecting too much, bro. It is what it is. The car is worth like I think 25 on Kelly Blue Book, if I'm not mistaken. I think we already dropped this in the video earlier. I think it's worth 25. So they ended up giving us 26, which is not bad. Um, so yeah, we are going to have to use Gap to cover the rest of the, uh, car. It's about 3K remaining, um, 3K and some change. So Gap is going to have to cover that for us. It is what it is. I'm not even tripping on it. Um, I already emailed somebody from the dealership who said that, she, you know what I'm saying, Amy, she said she was going to help me out with the Gap people. So we're going to get the ball rolling on that. The whole reason why I've been kind of like low key rushing to get this done is because, Basically, um, if you guys are new to the channel, a couple, well, last year, right? Last year, we had a Nissan Rogue, and me and my fiance, at the time, my girlfriend, um, were, we were in an accident, which caused the Rogue to roll over. And so, it ended up getting totaled out, of course, um, and we had to use Gap to go ahead and, you know what I'm saying, cover the bill and whatnot. Um, and cover uh, the rest of the amount. Um, I had a bad run in with Gap. I ended up having to pay four months worth of car notes for that car um, because Gap just took their sweet ass time. <laughs> their sweet ass time. Like, bro, their sweet time to go ahead and pay that car off. 
You know what I'm saying? And basically what happens is Gap sets it up to where, yeah, you know what I'm saying? They're going to make the payment. You feel me? But they're not going to, it's not like you can stop paying. You can't stop paying until they make that payment and they take their sweet ass time to do that. So with that being said, I wanted to go ahead and get the ball rolling on that because I don't want to go buy a new car and then be paying for the staying because gaps taking forever to pay for the staying and then i'm paying for the new car as well you feel what i'm saying and then also so we have one issue bro you know what i'm saying and i'm gonna talk to them tomorrow see what they can do because they also said that they're gonna have everything cleared by the 10th that's the goal right now today it is the 4th of january they say they're gonna have everything cleared by the 10th of january which is next monday so hopefully everything gets cleared next monday um like they say and then i can get gap you know what i'm saying to go ahead and jump in and do what they gotta do then we'll be cool on that because that gives them 30 days to actually send the check so hopefully they do that. But the issue that we have at hand right now is the guy has not sent the total loss letter. Like I told you guys in the previous vlog, if I'm not mistaken, the total loss letter basically says to the bank, hey, this loan no longer exists. It's taken care of. This individual is not paying on this loan anymore. This loan no longer exists. That way, all of the banks and stuff like that are not thinking, oh damn, why the hell does this person need two auto loans for sports cars? Why does this person need two auto loans um, at the sa for the same caliber car? You see what I'm saying? So, uh, and then once they do that, they usually nine times out of 10 are gonna go ahead and either A, raise the APR to a stupid ass amount, or B, raise the price of the vehicle to a stupid ass amount so the payments on the car will be stupid high and all this and that or whatever so yeah man with that being said we're just waiting on that total loss letter hopefully i can get one sent to me tomorrow i do have to sign some paperwork um that basically uh releases the car to the insurance or whatever um and so they can go ahead and you know pay their little loan or whatever and i ain't gotta worry about that now they say that it's coming Sorry, there was a bug on my wall. No. <laughs> anyway, they say that the paper is supposed to be here um, sometime soon, and then I'm supposed to sign the paper and send it back overnight. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Got the Mrs. Peeping. Nah, don't go inside now, motherfucker. <laughs> No time to go inside now, motherfucker. Yeah. So they say the paper is supposed to get here soon, and then I'm just supposed to overnight it back via FedEx, um, and then we'll be straight off that, and then we can go ahead and proceed and get everything taken care of. So hopefully the paper comes in tomorrow. Sign that MOOC. Talk to the dude in the morning. See if he can go ahead and send over that total loss letter. I feel like they just want to go ahead and close everything off, but I really, I'm trying to get this car, bro, because okay, there's a car that I want. I, I found it. I found the car that I want. It's perfect. It's literally perfect. I'm not going to tell you guys anything about it, but I did try to put a deposit down on the car and the dealership does not want to accept any deposits. They say that they don't take any deposits on any vehicles and they don't hold vehicles for anybody. So this car right now, I'm trying to tell y'all is a steal. I'm talking about a perfect gym. It's a gym and I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to get it. So Hopefully they can get everything taken care of so I can go ahead and go buy this whip because I'm telling y'all When y'all see this joint, just stay tuned. I'm telling y'all if everything goes through 2022 we're going crazy. I'm turning 23 this year. I'm turning 23 next month So this is gonna be my early birthday slash college graduation gift to myself you feel me? So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned. Turn on those post notifications. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. Try to help your boy out with the algorithm. I know I haven't been uploading. I've been waiting on these people. Once I get the green light, I'm back on road. I'm trying to tell y'all. The JIHQ finna look real different in about two weeks. You feel me? But you guys are not really gonna see. I'm a, I'm a you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna hold off on the reveal because I gotta go get some stuff. Speaking of stuff. Uh, you know what I'm saying? A little storage space. Anyway, got the stock resignator for the Sting and the stock spoiler for the Sting. Uh, also, my boy Block Boy Lando hooked it up with a uh, intake. 
So if you guys are interested in any of those three items, man, hit your boy up in the DMs at JI Productions underscore. It's going to pop up right here. Hit your boy up. But without further ado, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on those post notifications. Give this video a big thumbs up like I said earlier. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.